Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be messages from your spirit guides. Let's jump straight into it. Any information that you may be looking for will be in the description. If you do want to ever see me live, while I do like personal reading questions, I do go live around like 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and then like later on in the afternoons. So if you want to catch me, uh, hit the notification bell and let's go ahead and jump straight into the reading and see what's going on. Okay, so first card we have is Fear in Reverse, The Temple Path, Cornucopia, and a consciousness of lack. So the first message that I'm getting from your spirit guides, it's important that you are not leading with fear. Some of you have been letting fear overcome you to a point to where you're trying your best to avoid whatever it is that you do fear, whether that's disappointment, whether that's being let down by others. Well, that's the same thing as disappoint, but disappointment, but um a fear of success a fear of going out of your comfort zone it's important that you transcend this and i think that there's going to constantly be situations that challenge you to do just that and if you do successfully challenge the fear that you could be feeling and saying you know what i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna do it anyways there could be so many blessings that come your way and you could be realizing how maybe just this belief of lack has been hindering you or has been stopping you to some degree. It does also talk about some sort of relocation or some sort of move. This could be a blessing for you in the sense of you getting a chance to start all over again. And this is important that you see it that way. If you are planning to move, this could be a confirmation that this may actually be a good idea and something that really, really puts you in position. Okay, you could meet someone new in the neighborhood. You could make some new connections just as a whole. But I do see a lot of opportunity opening up for you, but you have to overcome this belief that you're going to be without or that there's something missing. Okay, let me pull from this deck, actually. Well, let me get all the cards from right here, actually. Okay, so let's go into the next deck. What are the messages for my Aquarius they need to hear? So we have past life. So there's definitely some past life things that you're now working through, especially when it comes to the realm of love and when it comes to family. There could be certain past life, either like karmic debt or cycles to wrap up during this time frame. We also have air. There could be something really important around communication. So make sure that you're checking like your emails, checking your text messages. There could be even a call that comes in, something to do with communication, but also be mindful of the quality of the thoughts that you're thinking, what you're feeding into. Also, how are you communicating what you're thinking or feeling? Are you communicating it in a way where whoever you're trying to communicate it to can actually understand you? Because there could be a lot of misunderstandings if not approached correctly. And that could be like a big issue. Some of you are just having to navigate. Yes, a lot of you, this is a reminder that you do have good luck on your side. You could have an ancestor that's definitely supporting you in the spirit realm that you're not even aware of is supporting you. So this is just confirmation for any of you who, who have been in this space of being like, you know what? I don't know if I have support. I don't know if I do actually have any spiritual support. Yes, you do. <laughs> in ways that you may not even be aware. What are the messages for my Aquarius they need to hear? Slow and steady. And we have intention. 
Okay, so it's important that you're not rushing ahead or expecting yourself to make Rome appear in the day. Okay, respect your journey, respect your process, okay? It says slow and steady wins the race. Pushing things forward impulsively will not only prevent success, but potentially cause more trouble than you're prepared to handle. Moving too quickly will only yield unripe fruit with a bitter taste. Slow down, breathe, meditate. You're not a human doing, you're a human being. Just be. Everything will work out if you can apply the brakes and become more aware of what's happening in this moment. A calm focus on the now, breathing in the beauty of your surroundings will restore your power to consciously co-create your world. All fruits ripen in their own time. Yes. And then with intention, it's important that anything that doesn't go in alignment with what you're intending to do or intending for your future to play out looking like, we don't want to do it. And we want to remind ourselves of the intentions of why we're doing certain things that we've been doing over time. And if we don't have a clear definition or an understanding, then we want to readjust or get back to the roots of what that intention is in the first place. Okay, it says, are you clear about your intentions or are you in a foggy state of denial about your true motives and or ambitions? This is a time to step back and gain perspective and clarity about your direction. Check your motives and ask if they are sincere. Are you pursuing some help, some goal blindly without asking its cost? Good intentions are being misinterpreted. Now is the time for self-evaluation and self-nurturing. You will benefit greatly if you take time out to regroup. So yes, this is a time of redirection, refocus, and remembering what we're doing things for. I would also say too, for any of you who are trying to build up any business endeavors or a relationship, I would not try to rush things along because the process is the process for a reason. With a business, we don't want to rush to just get it released. We want to make sure that everything is perfect on the back end or not perfect, but the best that we can get it and make adjustments along the way, of course. But if we rush through things, we won't be able to spot what is a mistake or we won't be able to see where we could maybe benefit or create even more opportunity within a business, let's say. Or with a relationship, we may not, you know, take an account of how someone may act when they're angry because we never got a chance to see it because we, we rushed the relationship. Or how, you know, someone's spending habits are and how that may affect you. But I hope that this was helpful and did give you insight. If you enjoyed, thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.